Hi, everybody. This is Milky. Today, we're going to have another first impression video for an released early access game called Foundation. I actually bought this game on Steam because I saw a trailer and I really like its art style and the soundtrack. The art of this game gives me that beautiful, peaceful morning feeling which I love, so I decided to give it a try. I already put in a few hours before this recording and I have to say, even though I like the art style, the user interface and the tutorial of this game can be really confusing and uh, it still needs some development. But I totally understand that this is an early access game, so it's still in development. These are the things that can be improved as the development continues. The soundtrack is absolutely amazing though, I love it a lot. Well, so let's get started. I started a new game with the default setting and the first thing we got is this uh, tutorial and it's te text-based. Right now there's no uh, interactive tutorial yet. And we can see the UIs can be a little bit intimidating or confusing at the start. Like you probably will start wondering what should we do with this and uh, where should we start? So. Yes, once we get familiar with the game mechanic, this is a great game and I believe that's part of the reason that we have first impression videos because as a small channel, I really understand the indie life and really want to support indie game developers and groups. The market is really competitive and a lot of great games didn't get much, as much popularity or coverage as they deserved. So hopefully by covering them on my channel, no matter how small my game channel is, I could help them reach more people. So I will give these games a fair chance even though it's still in development, so I can evaluate them based on its core mechanic. This way I can find and share with you some hidden gems in my channel. So the first thing we want to do is actually find a polygon that we decided to be our base. This too looks pretty good. We want we want some stone resources, some trees, and some berries. Um, I think the one on the right looks great because this gives us some place to build our village center. So in order to build a village center, we want to go to our building and set up our base. I'm super excited and uh, I do want our base to be close to all those resources, so probably around this area. Yeah, that looks nice. Oh, I love it. I love how when we set up the village center, we can see all these little people here. I love the art style of this game. Like all those people are super cute. So now we have a quest to raise our village status to commoner. The first time I found it super confusing because actually to raise your villager status to commoner is not that easy. It requires a lot of a building in order to um, get it going. But let's get started. What I like to do is actually open this uh, new widget list and assign them. So we do need one, one builder and then probably two woodcutter. Oh, accidentally close to that. Oh, look at my little people here. They're so cute. So I'm gonna assign two woodcutter and uh, the thing they will do is, uh, this is one thing I really love the game. So you can set up the zones. For example, if I set up this zone for resource extraction, the woodcutters, once we finished, um, zoning them and the building necessary building will go and uh, start cutting woods. But before that, we, we do need to build a lumber camp. So I'm gonna put a lumber camp here and then my builder should automatically go and start. Look at them. The AI in this game is actually pretty smart. They will start building things and then other than the woodcutter, we will need some maybe two forger. So the forgers are the ones that can collect the berries. I wish there's more shortcut. Maybe I should uh, take a look into it. So two forger, and then we need some stone cutters and uh, probably a carpenter. Yeah, that looks great. So once our builder finished the lumber camp, we can see our wood cutter starts going and go cutting the wood. We also need the gathering hard hut for the berries. So this one's probably going to be built around our berry resources. So I'm gonna put it around this area. Yeah, that looks great. 
Then we're going to, we need a stone cutter camp and I will build it right next to our stones or maybe just next to, let's see. Yeah, I would like to build the stone camp around the stones. I like that. Then we can build a sawmill, which uh, allows us to change the, using the wood to build planks. And then you can ship uh, using control to rotate the buildings. One thing I really like about this game is uh, once you get familiar with it, everything is super easy and nice. Look at this, uh, like the AIs are pretty smart and I love how all of these buildings look. Look at the art style, it, it looks amazing. Oh, and this is uh, my little, little gathering people. I see that once we change the clear, um, the stuff on them changes. That's amazing. They're, they have a little gathering bucket that they will, he will go and uh, gathering resources for me, hopefully. Let's see. Um, he's not doing it because the builders haven't constructed this yet. Okay, so sometimes you will see they're not doing it and uh, because these little people, they do have some free time where they're just gonna stay and uh, hang out, which is totally fine. I'm cool with that. Aw, look at that, so cute. Let's build all the necessary buildings So, So we do need a wheel to give us water. Then we will need a warehouse to use for stocking resources and the trading. So for that, we probably want something that's close to all of the resources. So I'm thinking maybe around, uh, let's see, around this area. Or maybe here-ish. Yeah, we have more empty space here. So I would like to build it right here. Wow, our town is really coming together and I'm gonna... Uh, Speed it up just a little bit, just a little bit, to get our builders going. Look at my people, now start they, they go start to, to collect berries and all that. I love it. I love how smart they are too. It's absolutely amazing. So before our, um, our sawmill is built, um, I can make my... I can make my carpenter uh, another a builder, so he can he or she can help with the building. Then we can start the zoning section. I think I would like the trees around us to get to get extracted first, so they will go collect trees around this area first. Oh, the stone camp is finished. Nice. That's so fast. Also, I would like it to always show me the zoning areas. So I'm, so I realized uh, what areas have we selected. So now we have a new request, new quest, which is uh, set up a market. Yes, otherwise we won't be able to make money and our money will keep losing. And uh, so that's very, very important. Need to make sure. So far, our village has been going pretty great. So in order to build a market, we can select it here, market. For the market, we have a, we probably need a food store. And uh, I would like to build the market maybe around this area. We're gonna build a little cool market section. Uh, maybe like this. I really like how the game allows you to uh, Build how your how your base will look like. For example, for the little market, I can have a little sign here. I love it. Then we can put uh, barrels around here for decoration purpose. Yeah, like right here ish. Um, and then maybe a little bench around here for people to come and visit my market. I love that. Um, and then we can select start construction. Yes, that's our little market right there for you. Wow, I just love how easy it is to add decorations in this game. 
Also, if you like, we can add even more decoration. Oh, but we need to first upgrade our commoner. Then we can feel free to decorate our beautiful little village to the vibe. Uh, to um, I don't know. I'm I'm thinking a peaceful vibe. Yeah, I love that. So let's see how's our builder doing. It's waiting for builder and it needs more stone. Okay. The will finish the building though, that was fast. Now we will need to have more stone. Building completed market. Oh wow, he was able to build the market really fast. And then we can start it to sell sell cherries in the market. But in order to in order to sell things, we actually need a market tender. So I'm gonna assign one forger to be a market tender. Yeah, that's great. We finished the build and set up a market. So now we can actually start selling stuff and getting income for our little village by selling berries. So we do have uh, hopefully one market tender assigned soon. So he or she can start selling our berries. Then we have a new request to unlock our trade route. Um, I think for the trade route, we actually click on the trade button. So in order to unlock it, we need 20 planks. So we need this building to be built soon. Oh, that's amazing. Our new zone residential is available. Oh, we got a new quest. The kingdom recognize your effort in special in establishing your settlement. Oh, thank you, my king. Yes, I am, but your humble servant. So we have six new buildings unlocked and new zoning and new villagers. Uh, my villagers have reached a new status. Wow, isn't that amazing? So now we have the new buildings and new zoning. So for the residential thing, what's interesting about it is if I mark it as a residential, my people will actually start building little houses around here. Which is pretty amazing. I love that a lot. So I'm gonna mark all of this area as a housing area if they want. And uh, this area where they finished gathering resource. Oh, oh, accidentally marked this wrong. So for the extraction, I will leave this here. So they will stop extracting it. Oh, yeah, this is our residential area now, guys. Okay, I love that. And we probably need to buy another territory. Oh, but we, we don't get it for free yet. I remember later in the game, we will get the territory for free, which will be really, really helpful. Okay, so we still have two villages lacking space for housing, which means I probably need more area for them to build their little houses. So maybe I could ask them to expand to here-ish. Yes, yes guys, feel free to expand it here so you can start a house. Oh, that's amazing. Look at them. Once I started this and they started to build their little houses for them. I love it. And they go to their little houses. Oh, how smart are my villages? <laughs> it's really weird. I, I usually just feel really proud of them for doing this. So I do, we do have a market tender now. And uh, let's see. We also need a carpenter. So, so far we have a pretty decent amount of wood. And uh, I'm going to assign one of the stone cutter to be a carpenter. Yes. So we can start having, having plants. Oh, finally, there's two new villagers join. So I'm gonna assign him back to be a stone cutter, and then for the two new villagers, one of them is going to be a. Uh, um, I want to assign them based on job. One of them is gonna be a carpenter, 
The other one maybe will be a uh, transporter. Yeah, we need carpenter and the transporter. So far it's been amazing though. Let's see. Oh, we already have 8 berries sold this week for 64 gold. I love that. So we're getting decent amount of money. Uh, now we just need the planks. Where are my new villagers? Where are you guys? Usually you can see them coming to your village pretty soon. Pretty soon. Um, now we can build the new buildings such as... Well... I thought we already built a warehouse. A wooden gate used as an entrance. Yes, we can finally have an entrance. That's amazing. I think I would like this little entrance right here. Oh, oh, he actually just crossed my entrance even though I haven't built it yet. I love that. Okay, so my new builders. For Dominic, I would like her to be a carpenter. And then for her man, I would like him to be a transporter. But we also need a stone mason. Okay, so maybe we will make one of the builder or the stone cutter to be a mason because we need a stone mason hut. Okay, so we should probably put the stone mason hut around the building camp here. So maybe right here ish. But I don't want to destroy some of my trees. So I'm thinking right here. I love it. That's gonna be our stone mason. Um, two villagers is lacking space for housing. Um, gosh, I wonder when will we have enough uh, money to buy another territory because this territory is a little bit too small for us now. Isn't that crazy? We expand so 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 fast. So let's see. What is what are we lacking? The planks. Right. Uh, how's the carpenter doing? We do have somebody assigned and uh, he's, he's making planks. He's doing his job. Just need some more time. Okay. Our construction for warehouse is going pretty good. Um, Soon we, will, we can build the rustic church and once we have the church going, we should be able to finally finish our first quest. Also, I would like to unlock our trade route, but I, that definitely requires more planks. So maybe I should assign one of the builder to go and make me some planks. So become a carpenter, please. Meanwhile, uh... Meanwhile, we can have some decorate bush, like I promised. So I'm gonna have some flower right here-ish. Oh, I love that. Then I want the... Maybe the town. The town's... The town needs a lot more flower, a lot more love around here. So I'm gonna assign my... Let's see. Assign some flowers around their house. Yeah, and I want to put some right next to our tiny little tiny little market. Yeah. Oh, with a little bit of flower added, doesn't the house, the town just looks a lot more amazing? I love it. So I'm gonna, sh uh, yeah, I'm gonna not show, stop showing the zoning, so we can take a look at our town. It's so peaceful, I love it. It's coming super together. So let's see how much plank we got. Six. Uh, we still don't have enough just yet. Oh, two new villagers arrived our village. Oh gosh, that's so fast. So once we get the trading route going, I remember we should be able to have... Uh, should we be able to have a new territory so my people can start getting more housing area? Yeah, I'm gonna add a little bit fence here. Just as a decorative. Yeah, I think I want to remember to decorate it our, our building while we're expanding. Oh, that's our tiny little warehouse. I love it. Uh, so we... These are used to stocking resources and to trade. One thing I don't understand is uh, 
why do we need to stock it here for trading purpose? But the things I'm gonna put it here are berries and uh, probably, let's see, berries, stones, uh, wood, and uh, maybe planks. Yeah, that looks good. Oh, and our new people here, one of them I think needs to be a stone mason. The other guy, oh, could be a forester. But so far, I don't think we need a forester. Maybe, let's see, what will we need? A forger. Two... Um, hmm, maybe we need one more forger for the... For the berry collecting. Yeah, I love that. Let's see, are we ready to unlock the trade? Oh, we're so close. We just need a little bit more plant, please. Look at our transporter. He's doing so great. He already stacked all those things around here. I love that. Um, meanwhile, I think we can build more market. So the market, other than the food store, selling goods to the villager or sell luxury goods. I don't know what are the luxury goods, but I'm gonna put the market around uh, here-ish. Yeah, here's another market. Uh, maybe they will go around like this. So it's like a gathering market group. This market will be facing, let's see, maybe this way, around here-ish. Yeah, I like that. And then we're going to put a good store sign around here-ish. Put a little sign here. And then we're gonna also give you some barrels because that make it looks good. Um, I don't think we need a fence around there. Yeah, I like that. So we're gonna have another new market right around here. Oh, and I think we're finally ready for unlock our trading route. Oh, that's amazing. I love it. Since uh, we unlocked it, we got a free territory. Isn't that amazing? Um, and then we need to set up our first trade route. So assign, let's see, assign tools into the warehouse. So maybe I will assign um, this one to be tools. And then I will need to add trade, trading route and allow tools to be purchased from the trading route. Okay, so I guess we will buy around 10 of them. That's amazing. So that should allow us to start trading it and getting buying tools from other section of it. I love that and our markets building is completed the splendor of your village has unlocked a new tier of unlockables oh that's amazing and our quest is completed so next thing that's important is getting a new territory uh, it's kind of hard to decide. I'm thinking this one because it has more berries, more stones. Overall, looks great. Look at that. I love it. Now we have uh, such a big base now. Um, and I can finally um, give some more residential place for my, for my villagers. So they can have places to live their life and... Uh, really really important so i'm gonna put out this section okay so i think that will allow my villagers to have enough place love that and uh, more villagers has joined our tiny little place so one of some of them could be let's see where are we missing forester yeah, we could have a forester for restoring for forest. Our forest is going away super, super fast. So I'm thinking in order for the forester to work, we actually need a forester camp. 
and、uh, I'm hoping we put all of this as living area, and、uh, or maybe this is the resource area. So I will build a forest camp here, so it can revive all the forests around this area, or forest camp here and、uh, get the forests around this area. Um. Hmm. Maybe maybe around here. I like that. So we're gonna build a forest camp right here, and then we're gonna say this other part that I want you to restore the forest and、uh, make sure our tiny little trees are everywhere. Yeah, this is our forest area, please. I don't know how to restore the stones though if they ever go away, but the forest definitely goes away. Super super fast, so we should be starting to be worried about.、Uh, we used up all our tree right at the start. The woodcutter could not find accessible resources. Oh gosh, okay, he already extracted all the wood. That's crazy. So we do need、uh, her to maybe start extracting wood from this territory right here ish. Yes, and then feel free to get some berries from here. That looks nice. Then I do need to build、uh, a church, so I'm thinking about building a church right here-ish. Yes, I like that. That's a great place. That that place looks great for our for our church. And I have to show you guys how the church building process. It's really really cool. I loved it. Ever since I tried it yesterday. So first we have to have a core. Oh, while we're building a church, we got some new quest going. Seems like, my lord, we need to choose who we want to help. So we can choose to help the king. Um. Hmm. I think I want to help my. I want to help my people. But I can see there's different rewards. So far, we don't have any for the church, so I'll help the church. So in order to, that's one thing that the game didn't explain is how do we deliver this quest? And、uh, I I remember having to sit through and search online in order to figure it out. The first thing we need to do is actually, we can open the resource panel and、uh, select stockpile. So our berries won't won't be keep selling out. Then, let's see. Once in our warehouse, let's let me collect the select the warehouse. If once in the warehouse, will we have enough、um, berries stored in the warehouse? We should be able to. Deliver. Oh, oh gosh! But、uh, for the pops, they actually want to. They don't want the berry, but they want. They want something different. I think I actually select the wrong. Um, the wrong quest because we don't have that resource. But we might be able to have it in by trading. So if I select this and select fish, and then if I select trade, maybe we should be able to trade some. Here, trade, trading resource. Yeah, okay. So we can buy twenty resources. This way, we can finish our quest. Yeah, love that. Oh, two village, two new villagers will come and join our place. I love that. So、I think we will need more wood cutters, and、uh, let's see what else. We don't have a market tender anymore,、uh, so maybe we will need another、uh, stone mason. Yeah, we need stone mason. So we have one stone mason, and the.、Uh, Let's see. 
Maybe another another woodcutter would be nice. Yeah, just trying to think. Who should I assign? Okay. I think this looks good. I'm not sure whether this is the most optimal job assignment, but so far our town has been looking looking great. Okay. I love it so far. So we can actually use this work playlist to, to see what are the things. It's weird that the for the stone man hat, I still don't see a stone mason getting assigned there. Also, I don't see a market tender assigned to the good store. Let's take a look at the good store. So far, we can't sell anything yet, unfortunately. So that's okay that we don't have a market tender here. Let's continue building our church. So for the church, once we have the wood, we actually... Oh, once we have the core built, we actually want to have a wooden extension. I don't know what does this wooden extension do though. But it looks cool. I'm thinking about putting it right here-ish. Yeah, like that. Then we need to have a pretty cool door. And we can choose different type of... Oh! Did that... Did that door just fly away? <laughs> That's pretty funny. So I like this one. And maybe A. A looks pretty cool. And I would like the door maybe looking... This way. Yeah, love that. Then we can have a small tower. Um, I mean, small tower A looks pretty cool. Oh, B is pretty cool too. Gosh, it's so hard to pick. And then I will put the tower right here-ish. And that's our little church. Isn't that looks great? Uh, so we have one core building. So that's our core building. Mm -hmm. This is our core building. But seems like somehow it wasn't able to associate this together. So have a core building, please. Mm. That's weird. But we do finish our quest to the, to the church. And that's amazing, we got turn church points. But uh, the construction of the church is a little bit confusing. I don't know why it wouldn't rec recognize this core building as uh, being built. Maybe I can put it here-ish then. Oh uh, no, it just won't recognize it. So I'm gonna clear this construction. And uh, oh gosh, what happened to this? Okay, I finally was able to pick up the core building was put, being, being put down. So let's build it all over again. Maybe this time I would like it to be built um, not on the hill. But I don't know, a church always gives me that hill feeling. So I want to build it on the hill. And then we'll do a similar thing like what we did. A lock there, and then we're gonna use door A right there. I love how they clip to your building too, like that. That's pretty amazing. So for the yeah, that's our awesome looking church. I mean, it's a little bit buried in the hills, but I'm sure that will be fine. Um, we can also have a wood in extension right here-ish. Yeah, doesn't that look amazing? Okay, so we can start construction, but it does require a lot of stone, a lot of planks, and uh, a lot of tools. Will be good. Uh, this church will be slowly built. It. Um, let's see. Our town so far still have decent of, uh, amount of money, which is uh, which I love. Also, we can stop stockpile our berries. Yes. Then uh, we should probably stop our trading for the fish. Yeah, I'll, I'll stop the trading. And uh, let's see if we have any excess 
thing that we can start trading. So we can sell all above the value. So I'm gonna sell all above. I'm guessing it's saying that if it's all the ones, I only need 50 plant. So if I have uh, more than 50 plant, it will start selling my plants. Well, that's just my guess. Let's, let's test it out. And uh, we can actually see our budget and uh, see we get some trade income coming in and uh, our village consumption is a lot though. So we do want to increase our trading expense. Oh yeah, amazing. See, so it, it, it retained the 50 planks and then sold all of them, all the other ones away. I love that. So in order to make more money, we do want more market. So I think the luxury goods goods store haven't been installed, and I'm gonna probably put it right, right here. Yeah, this is our little tiny market section. And uh, as oh, actually we can have a little tent for them. Oh, but seems like the tents cost money. So we can't build the tent yet. And uh, even the little sign costs money. Does barrels cost money? I don't think so. Okay. So I don't think the sign costs money. But so I'll just put it here. Yeah, and then maybe we can build one more bench around this area. Just for decorating purpose and let's start construction for luxury good luxury goods. Okay. Oh wow, look at that. Our forester already built all these tiny trees here. I love it. It's so cute. And our church is slowly coming together. And our villagers somehow find some place for the house, even though this house was half sinking on the ground. Oh gosh. Well, I guess that's alright. We can have a little decorative bush around here. Yeah. Yeah, just want to make sure, you know, you guys have enough decorated bush and we're a beautiful flowery place. I love that. Then I want the flower all the way going to the church. Yeah, doesn't that look amazing? Oh, I just love our village so much. I, I thought there's a pop up here, but I, I missed it while I was doing decorative stuff. Um, I hope that should be fine. Well, I think that's it for our today's episode. I, ho I really, really hope you like foundation when you can see that the game itself is really beautiful and it gives this a uh, peaceful vibe like if we just take a look at it right here yeah that's a peaceful snapshot of our village and i just absolutely love it um but uh, as you can see, the UI is a little bit, it takes us some time to get used to, but I'm sure you will figure, uh, you can figure it out. And uh, let me know if you have uh, any questions. If you like this video and uh, want to see more like it, or you want to see this uh, foundation become a, a Let's Play series, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. And uh, definitely let me know because I would love to um, make it a normal let's play series and show you more about this uh, foundation and our cute little village. Well, thank you so so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this and I will see you guys next time.